Hi, everyone. Given this trigonomic function, we're going to add a trigonomic term to the function so that it becomes a perfect square trinomial. All right? Then that's the first thing. And then we're going to rewrite the function as a perfect square trinomial minus the term added. So I think just doing the problem is going to help because um, this is what they mean when they ask you to do that. So that, write down your problem. Sine to the fourth power plus cosine to the fourth power. Now, what they want you to do, and I'm going to move it down here, we're going to write down sine to the fourth, and what we're going to, and then we're going to have plus um, cosine to the fourth of x. And what we're going to add is this plus two sine squared x cosine squared x. Because this is a perfect squared trinomial, because then you can rewrite this as um, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x squared. So this is what they mean by adding um, uh, the term. Because this is your a, um, this would be like a squared um, plus b squared squared. All right. But in order to add it here, you just can't add something. We also have to subtract it. So I'm going to subtract it also. Our main idea was just to get this perfect square trinomial in this position. So now I have to subtract it here. All right. Now, the reason we did that is because sine squared plus cosine squared is just 1. So 1 squared is just 1. So you have 1 minus 2 sine squared of x cosine squared of x. All right. And now they want you to subtract it. So let's go back. They want you to rewrite the function as a perfect square trinomial minus the term added. So we added this term here. So we're going to do that minus the term added. So here we go. We have um, 1 minus 2 sine squared of x cosine squared of x. Um, and then you're going to you're going to do 1 minus uh this. So that's going to be uh 2 and we have two sines and two cosines. Right? And so we're going to rewrite that as 1 minus 2 and I'm going to mix up my sines and cosines. So sine of x cosine x and the next one would be sine of x cosine x. Alright, so now we know what this is. This right here is your double angle. So that's just going to be 2 um, a sine of 2x. Whoops, not sine squared. Sine of 2x. That's your double angle. Okay, and this piece is almost like a double angle. I'll just put a parenthesis here. But we don't have the 2 in front of it. So what I can do is instead of writing uh, the, since I don't have that, I can write this as 1 half. Sine of x, cosine of x. Or just sine of 2x, sorry. Sine of 2x. And I'll, and I'll show you why real quick so you'll know. Um, so if I did my double angle for this, this would be 1 half times 2 sine of x cosine of x. And that means the 2's cancel. So if you ever have something like that, you can just put the 1 half in front. And that's basically all they wanted, except we can go ahead and um, write this also as 1 minus, um, there's two of these. Since we're all we're just multiplying this together, that's gonna be one half sine squared of two x. Alright? Because there's two of those. And I just brought the one half in front. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Oh.